Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Patreon podcast. This week, I wanted to talk about the idea of sticking around and just being perseverant with your work. And I mean, this sounds very obvious, but a lot of the obvious things that we talk about are things that just require a lot of dedication and a lot of work. And I think that it's important to stick around, to understand that sometimes things take a little bit of effort and a little bit of time to really start moving. I mean, I've been doing music for over 20 years now, and really I've been doing music seriously as a um, kind of more than a hobby, as, as kind of a profession for six, six or seven years now. And it's finally starting to feel like there's some forward momentum with it. Um, and that's me starting to take it a little bit more seriously and starting to realize that I have to do certain things like market it and make sure that I work with the right people and, and build a community and build a fan base. And all of this stuff is, is things that I've learned along the way. But if I had tried this for a couple of years and gave up because I wasn't really making money off of it, I feel that I would be doing my art a disservice, but also kind of just myself and like the people that I know now, like I'd be doing them a disservice um, because I, I really love where I'm at now. And I love the community that's kind of grown around the, the passion for creative thing, creating things. And I don't want to trade that. And I mean, if I had given up, that wouldn't exist. And that's like important for me. And that's, that's really kind of the big thing for me right now, where it's just like understanding that, uh, you can't give up, especially if you're passionate about something. And I'm definitely passionate about making music and that comes and goes like at, at the current moment, I'm not as, you know, I'm not as woohoo about making music as I have been, you know, even a month ago, but that ebbs and flows and it'll come back and then I'll be able to make more stuff. Um, so it's it's finding those things that you like and then learning to stick around because most good things don't happen overnight. Like when you listen to a popular YouTuber talk about how their channel was formed, they usually talk about, well, it's like 10 years ago I started it. And then, you know, eight years ago I got like noticed somewhere. And then five years ago I started, I, I like switched my format around a little bit. And then two years ago, I, I finally started getting that momentum. And that momentum is really what you're looking for. Um, I've found that it's really an exponential process where even if you're growing, you know, two to 5% every month or every year, it's, it adds up. It's, it's the whole idea of, um, compound interest, um, where if you grow a little bit every year, as long as that percentage keeps going up, that's going to be exponentially more. And it's, it's hard. It's really hard to, to, um, just see those numbers go up very low or very small. And then um, wanting to continue working on it. I mean, it's the same thing with this Patreon. I love this Patreon and I'm glad that I have it because it not only gives me an outlet and a motivation to keep making things, but, um, like I never want this to grow quickly. I mean, I'd be happy if it did, but I never really intend on this growing quickly. Um, I think we're closing in on, I, I think it's the four or the five year anniversary of, no, it'd be the five year anniversary. Cause I started it around the same time as the two hour track challenge. So I'm closing in on the five year anniversary for this. And, you know, we tend to grow about maybe 15 to 20% every year. And the first couple of years, that's like adding a couple more people every year. Cause I started with a fairly sizable number compared to other Patreon campaigns, not like the big ones, but it's like, I started with like 20 or 30 people and, you know, obviously thank you so much for sticking around. Um, but you know, I, I, I've gained like five or six people a year and then maybe in the future it'll be 10 or 15 and down the road it'll be 20 or 30. And you know, that's how this stuff goes. The more people who participate, the more people the more, more word of mouth you have to help expand that, 
uh, reach. And it's the same thing with like Spotify. Um, for me, I have a lot of music on Spotify, but it doesn't necessarily get played a whole lot. But every album I put out there is an opportunity for more people to find that particular album. And if they find that album, you know, a percentage of those people will be interested in my back catalog and they'll go through that too. And I think that it's really valuable to just keep working on things. And it doesn't have to be like your magnum opus either. It can just be, you know, doing a two hour track challenge, putting something out every couple months or every year and just having that. I hate calling it churn because it, it implies that it's not important, but having that turnover of projects and always getting something new out there. And I, I feel similarly with Pondemonium where like I was working on like this big grand project and I, st <clears throat> excuse me, I still want to work on that, but it's going to, I, I know that that project is going to take years and at the moment, I'm not, I'm not interested in taking years to finish something. I want to finish games in a couple months, partially because I need to iterate and I need to learn and I need to streamline my workflow. But I also just want to put more things out there because that's how you build a community. Um, and talking about things that are in progress, like talking about the game that I was working on, like that's really valuable too. But I think releasing something and giving something that other people can experience is, is incredibly valuable. And I should talk about the flip side of this too. Like there is value in quitting. Um, but it's making an informed decision uh, as to when you should quit is, is really the thing that you need to look out for because most of the time I've found people don't stick around long enough to know if the project they have in mind is worth sticking around for or quitting. And part of that is being mindful of the process. I know mindfulness is a really big thing that we talk about. Um, but just being aware of what, like how you feel about the process and like where you want to go with it. And if that aligns with your current goals, um, <clears throat> yeah, like I, I've talked about this before, but like doing music for brands was a really big thing for me and I got super excited about it. But the more I learned about it and the more I actually like got involved with that community, the less I wanted to do it. And I was just like, this, this just ain't for me. So I stepped away from it and, you know, I had vested, I had invested time and money into that. And that is something I'm not going to get back. But the knowledge that I gained was, is, was very valuable. Um, so I guess if there's something to take away from this, just look into, um, you know, look into what you like doing and what you want to do and, and make a plan plan for, you know, one year out and five years out. And those plans don't have to stick. They can always change. Plans are very malleable, but having a plan and having a goal as to where you want to be can be incredibly important when it comes to actually making steps toward that goal. So yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much it. Just don't, just don't quit. Just keep working, <laughs> working on the things that you love, of course, but just keep, keep an eye out and, and be mindful of where you're at and where you, where you want to be and try to bridge that gap. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter. And thank you so much for listening. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Be remarkable.